Hi everyone, I'm making eggs and soy broth. So click that subscribe button and watch me cook. So I started off boiling 11 eggs, but my kid jacked one, so I ended up making 10 altogether. I used baking soda to help with the peeling process, but use vinegar or whatever tipper trick that it is that you have. Make sure you flip your eggs around um, halfway through, just to make sure you can try to get your yolk in the center. And depending whether or not you like soft boiled or hard boiled eggs, that's gonna determine your cook time. For the sauce, I used six large dried anchovies, one small onion, one jalapeno, and two garlics. For the anchovies, you'll see that I am separating the head and opening the body to remove the guts out of it. It's the little black piece. See? Yeah, that. We don't want that. I and mean, it gives it like a bitter taste and you don't want that in your sauce. So just separate them all, remove all of that out, and you're ready to go. Now, once you've peeled your onions and your garlic, all you need to do is just slice them up thinly. I'm gonna do something a little extra with it. Uh, you don't need to do it, so you can skip that part. But do the same with your jalapeno. Again, something you don't need to add if you don't want to. But see these little white bags? Those are tea bags. I'm just shoving them in there, in there because I just wanna try something different. <laughs> Don't you guys love how I experiment with you here? Basically, you can cook all of this in a pot and then strain the sauce out, that's it. But our eggs are done now since we were done with that and all I've done is uh, cooled them down with some cold water and I'm shaking them up so I can uh, give some cracks inside of the egg. There's a reason for me doing this. I like the little designs that it makes when you crack them and you boil them in the soy sauce broth. I also like doing this because it keeps my family from just popping these in their mouth like candy. Now I'm just putting my eggs and the pouches of the ingredients inside of the pot with two cups of water and half a cup of soy sauce or tamari. I use tamari myself and we're going to let that simmer and boil for a few minutes. By doing it this way, I get to have the little designs that I'm going to show you guys when I, once I start peeling. But let this come to a boil and let it sit there and move your eggs around so that you can get some of the broth inside the cracks because that's what's going to obviously darken up the little spaces that are open. So continue doing this for, I think I did it for about three minutes or so once it started boiling. After a few minutes, go ahead and separate your broth from your eggs. I use a glass container, some people use jars, whatever works, um, but it's too hot to touch obviously. So that's why I separated it. One sauce, the sauce in the container and the eggs in a bowl so it can cool down. See all my little cracks? Those are the lovely little designs you guys are gonna see in a little bit. I like doing it this way because of the, I guess, marbled look. Um, is that what it's called? But that's what I like. I like the little shapes, the way that it looks on there. And I like that if you happen to accidentally dig your nail in there or if something didn't peel correctly, it's not as obvious. If you guys like this video, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.